Hi guys, thought I'd do an easy peasy. I haven't done one for a while. It is But Myself I Crucify and it's lesson 196. To me, that means that um, everything I do, um, I'm basically, I can help myself or I can crucify myself. So, um, I, you know, like today, I was really, really struggling with Adobe and to put something on. I wanted to get my program done and I could feel that I was getting more and more stressed, that I was getting more tired and you know, okay, my, hopefully tomorrow my leg is going to say, not going to say to me, Lauren, I'm going to punish you and I'm not going to walk today. And, but you tend to forget that when you're able to. So I think to me what it means is that if I was crucifying myself basically I was instead of break taking the breaks and breathing meditating and taking time out I was crucifying myself I was in a way creating a situation where something worse could happen uh, you see that's what I think it is to me it's all a metaphor it's not like literally um, but you see I think also um, what we do is, yeah, when we take things, when we see everything from our body's eyes, like um, last um, Tuesday, I couldn't walk. I could not walk at all. I mean, I was in so much pain. I went back on a crutch. And you know that I put a message on Facebook. And I could only feel that that was it. I'm never going to walk again. That was me crucifying myself because all I could see was what the body eyes were showing me. Now, everybody said, just rest, take it easy, breathe, meditate, take some time out, ask people to heal you. Use this as an opportunity to learn how to heal the body from pain. That is the opposite, opposite of crucifixion. Figure out what you did to cause it. So I did and I walked without my crutch um, by um, Thursday I think Thursday Friday I was walking again um, without the crutch so I think that's what it's trying to say is that we if if I had thought come on Lauren if you rest and do everything to help yourself then you're gonna come through this you're gonna come through it and the pain will go down uh, never use any medication apart from cannabis sativa <laughs> and I'm still totally saying well it's only stuff you can get on Amazon um, but as I said you know lots of water and common sense and rest and the right foods and everything um, you're likely to come out of the pain um, I remember a really good friend of mine oh it's all gone dark now <laughs> uh, an amazing vibrational therapist told me first sign of pain he said off to bed you go to bed you go to bed you know especially if it's a serious condition and you rest but it's not enough to rest and lie there and let the mind uh, wander you have to lie there and meditate and see yourself well again I'm meditating on me running I'm keeping my mind on seeing myself running 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 I don't know but I I can't see that yet with my body's eyes but as I say, if I don't give myself an opportunity to visualize it, I'm crucifying myself. I'm putting myself back into that space where I get, I punish myself, I hurt myself. So um, I don't know if this is helping you at all, but if you keep reminding yourself that every time you fight with someone, you attack someone, you don't look after yourself, you don't nurture yourself, uh, you put too much pressure on yourself, whatever, you don't take care of yourself, you are crucifying yourself, metaphorically. And that's how I use the course. So I hope you're having a beautiful day. I'm off to a party. Go off to a party, Martin. Party time. <laughs> there he is, he's driving. Say something nice. Something nice. <laughs> Do you know what? I couldn't go to this these parties I couldn't go to a party when I was in a wheelchair because I couldn't get up the stairs so I'm on my way <laughs> I'm on my way to a party so I hope to relax and have a bit of fun
Take care. Love you lots. Enjoy the weekend. Bye.